Um, this video is going to be in relation to the beam orientation on the sheets. So what I'm going to look at is this one here. And if I isolate this assembly, come up here, isolate assembly. So this is my assembly. It's vertical, like a column. So if I check the number on that, number is CH2, it's channel number 2, which is this one. So you can see my shear studs are on the wrong side. So I don't get any labels coming in automatically and or dimensions or anything like that. So I just want to flip this channel around the other way. So what we need to do is go back to our drawing. So we got to remember we want to have this like we would want it on a sheet. So there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can you want to look through the z-axis. So if you want to come down here, you can rotate this through the y. And that means we're looking in through the z-axis and we want the y-axis up. So that's the way we want it. So if we go to... Now, the other way to do this is we can go back to to the orange or go back to world and we can go to this front view this might be easier way of doing it actually and then rotate this way and now come back in here and pick the one that looks oh sorry i pressed the wrong button there so let me do that again now my view cube is gone so I guess we'll learn how to turn the view cube back on when it disappears, which is regularly enough. Rotate this again, and this one here. And it's orientated that again. So now we're going to select on the beam, go back to your tools, scroll down. This first one here is to do this exact same thing for a single part drawing. And the second one is to do it for an assembly. Click on that and let's redefine that direction. Go back to your beam, click on the beam, and go to labels and dimension, update detail, and it should flip around. There you go, flipped around the right way. So you're good to go now, your studs are on the right side. In case there's any confusion in the shop, um, 